couple of seconds. I think that's 200 metre breast title. It's underneath the English Commonwealth nomination time. And it's a four second B as well. What are your thoughts on that race? Um, I'm still like in complete shock. I just, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I knew I went out strong, but I wasn't expecting a time like that. So I'm really, really happy in a Commonwealth like qualification time. So I'm really, really happy. Did it help you coming into the race as a, a bit of an underdog? Obviously, you won the 50 title and you're known as a 100 breast British record holder as well, but 200 hasn't really been your forte in recent years. Uh, no, I've never really been as much of a 200 swimmer, but me and my coach have been working hard in training. It's like you've got the 50 and the 100, let's see if you can get all three in. The training's paid off, which is really good to know. And then coming into the race itself, you must have known that you were on for a pretty good time when you saw yourself up level with Molly coming into the last turn. Um, yeah, I saw her and I was like, wow, I must be doing pretty good, but like, I just had to keep going. I, I, like, I couldn't afford to drop off. I just had to keep pushing and pushing and it, it just, I can't even believe it still. <laughs> Do you think you can make further improvements in the 100 as well? Obviously, you set the British record last year, but you've made improvements in your 50 and 200 this season. Um, well, hopefully, I seem to be on good form for it now, so hopefully just eat right and sleep right and... Do a good hundred as well. well thanks, well done. Thank you.